Right now, I'm going to talk to you about a review that I just wrote, and it's on the movie Stan and Ollie. Now, Stan and Ollie is uh, for Laurel and Hardy. It's Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy, and he went by Ollie. And this movie came out uh, in late December. It was one of those movies where they want to get it out in time for the awards season. Uh, but really, it's in theaters for January and February. And it's a smaller movie, so if you haven't seen it in theaters or found it in theaters, it'll wind up on video, DVD, however you like to watch movies at home pretty soon. Uh, so it's not a gigantic movie in the sense that there are no explosions or special effects or things like that. It's a pretty quiet movie. It's a character type study movie, but that's not to make it sound artsy or pretentious or anything like that. It's very much a down-to-earth uh, human relationship type movie. I thought it was very, very good. And so I'm just going to let you know a little bit about it. Uh, the first thing that's interesting is it's about Laurel and Hardy. Now, I'm sure you guys have all heard those names before, but it's interesting because Laurel and Hardy they were a film duo in the 1930s and 1940s in the Hollywood system. Uh, Stan Laurel was a British guy and Oliver Hardy was from America and they actually were teamed up by the movie studio itself. Uh, they ended up being great together. But now it's interesting because I think most Americans, they know about them, but maybe not as much as them. There were groups like Abbott and Costello and even Charlie Chaplin who kind of in memory overshadow Laurel and Hardy. So that gives a little bit of a mystery to this movie because you're getting a little bit of a window onto these two characters that uh, we maybe didn't know a lot about. Uh, so that's kind of the first interest uh, portion of it. Um, the next thing you have to look at is just the two guys who play Laurel and Hardy themselves. I mean, this movie has other supporting characters in it, but it really is those two guys. And, and so that's one of the reasons the movie is really good is because they got two really good actors uh, to play these parts. Uh, Stan Laurel is played by a guy named Steve Coogan, who you might remember. He plays Octavius in the Night of the Museum movies, and he was also in the movie Philomena with uh, Judy Dench. Um, and then uh, uh, Oliver Hardy, or Ollie, is played by John C. Riley. John C. Riley's kind of a bigger guy. He's really interesting because he's been in several comedies with Will Ferrell, but then he's also been uh, nominated for an Academy Award. So he really has a lot of range, and he um, has a lot of makeup for this movie. Oliver Hardy was a really heavy guy, uh, so they put really a pretty, did a pretty good job with the makeup on his face. Um, he may even be wearing some extra weight for this movie there too. So, um, so that makes his character, a, you know, a little bit more interesting as well too. So those two guys and the, uh, the, the different comedic nuances that each of them have, uh, the two actors do a really good job of embodying that. Not just technically though, they do a really good job of, of letting you into the emotions of the character too. So you really care about these guys and you see them as two distinct personalities. Uh, Stan Laurel, he's the guy who writes most of the comedy. Oliver Hardy is the, um, he's more of the, uh, Stan Laurel's the straight man and Oliver Hardy's kind of the guy who gets the big laughs. You know, he's the, uh, the physical comedy type guy. So uh, they work really well together. The plot's pretty simple. Most of this movie takes place after the heyday of Oliver and Hardy. They were big in the 30s and 40s. This movie takes place mostly in the 50s. They go on a tour to England. They're kind of in the swan song of their careers, but they still think that they've got it, and so they're trying to rekindle that magic. Um, and then as things go on, um, health problems, things like that happen, uh, uh, just problems with trying to get uh, their show uh, up and running again. They want to try to kind of sweet talk a, a Hollywood producer who's going to meet them in London into finding a Robin Hood movie that they want to do. But a lot of that is the, the plot, which is important, but, but really the real meat of the story is the character development and the relationship between these two guys. Um, and they've been together for 20 years now. So at some point you hit in the movie, we as the audience have to decide, as the two of them have to decide, okay, are Laurel and Hardy actually really friends? Or are they just two actors who were put together and even though after all these 20 years they really don't care that much about each other. That's the decision that the movie you know will kind of lead us through and that's really the heart of the movie and that's what's really interesting. So overall Laurel and Hardy again it's a really good movie. It's not necessarily gonna maybe 
change your life. It's not some huge Oscar thing. Um, although John C. Riley was nominated for a Golden Globe for his role, uh, but overall, it's a really good movie. Uh, it, it does all the, the the basic things right. It gets the character development right, which basically just means that by the end of the movie, we care about the characters. We care about what happens to them. That's mostly what we ask for in movies like this, right? We just want to be engaged by the time an hour and a half or two hours have uh, ended up. Uh, so it, it really covers both gamuts, though. It's a touching movie. Uh, some might say it's a poignant movie. It's got some sad parts in it. It's not at all depressing, but it does have some sad uh, parts in it because part of that is just kind of real life. But overall, it's a hopeful movie. It's a, I called it in my review even life-affirming, just in kind of a quiet sense. You just... You leave the movie and you just feel like you've got a good feeling uh, and you really feel like you know these guys. So it's a pleasant experience. It's a pleasant way to spend two hours. Uh, it's, a, it's a really, as far as the rating, it's very tame. It's only PG. There's really not much objectionable in it. And again, there's more information in my review, uh, uh, the written review. But, uh, but overall, I'd highly recommend um, Stan Laurel as long as you're not looking for chase scenes or explosions or things like that. Those things definitely have their place. But if you want something a little quieter and a little more uh, interesting, um, I definitely recommend this one. So that was our first uh, video movie review. Hopefully you'll find it uh, entertaining and or informative. And uh, uh, I thank you, the audience, because uh, otherwise I have no reason to be here uh, without you. So really appreciate everybody who reads the reviews. I enjoy writing them, but it's a lot more fun to write something when you know that somebody wants to read it. So um, thank you very much, and uh, hope you enjoy the movie if you end up seeing it.